guys, Man Cave Collectibles coming back at you today with a little something new. Um, this is a new line that I'm just starting to kind of get interested in. Um, this is the DC Comics uh, Batman Black and White series. Today, this is my first uh, statue from this collection, the Batman Who Laughs, the second edition. Um, so this was a character that was uh, created by um, Greg Capullo and Scott Snyder. Um, first appeared in Dark Days, the casting number one. Uh, so he's kind of like an alternate uh, universe version of Batman, uh, basically Batman minus uh, the ethics. Uh, and then he has like these rabid Robins that, uh, you know, are kind of like his pets. Um, pretty cool character. Uh, if you if you've read any, any of his storyline, he actually ended up getting like his own spinoff book and it kind of became a pretty pretty popular character uh, in the DC universe. So, this is Greg Capullo's take on him. One of the one of the uh, creators of the Batman Who Laughs. Um, so, I want to take a look at uh, this statue. With it being my first, um, we'll kind of get into it together. So, this line uh, originated back in 2005. Um, They've got a hundred statues, not all hundred are out yet. Uh, the statue that actually got me into this line uh, was the 100th statue, which is a McFarlane statue, which I'll throw a picture up on the screen here of that. That one uh, really just kind of took my breath away uh, being a statue collector myself. I was kind of like, man, why have I not gotten into these? Started kind of looking around on YouTube at some different uh, reviews and things and I kind of started noticing that there's not a ton of good reviews on the Batman black and white series. There are some, some that are old, six, seven years old. Uh, but as far as just some good videos that I could get out there and see what these statues really look like, uh, it was kind of hard to find on some of them. So I said, well, I can, I can get these and start, start doing some reviews. So, um, so one of the long, again, it's one of the longest running lines um, of collectibles just in general, period. Um, and it, it doesn't look like they're planning to slow it down anytime soon uh, with that 100th one being the McFarlane. So it um, uh, looks like um, in 2005, they opened the line, um, ended up doing basically all Batman statues for the next four years in 2009 they kind of branched out and said, well, let's do some villains. So they did um, the Jim Lee Joker villain. And uh, I think it ended up selling actually better than even the Batman statues prior to it had. So they branched out since that time, done some additional villains like Bane and Scarecrow, Penguin. And then obviously we got the Batman Who Laughs here, which is, uh, you know, an otherworldly Batman. So um, anyways... Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the box itself for the Batman Who Laughs. So we got a nice product image here. We got a Batman 80 years um, advertisement on the, uh, it's kind of a uh, 45 degree angle uh, they got here instead of a 90 degree on the box. So that looks nice. Uh, DC Collectibles uh, is obviously who's supplying us with these. And up top it does say here that we do have the second edition of this guy. Um, so these are uh, numbered. Uh, each of the statues are numbered on the bottom. We'll take a look at that. Um, and then we got another product image on the back. A little bit of information on uh, this figure itself. So the, these were limited to 5,000 uh, pieces. The Greg Capullo uh, Batman Who Laughs figure. You got some additional ones here. I absolutely love this Mark Silvestri. I do have that ordered and coming to me as well as the Joe Mad uh, here as well. Both of those I thought were amazing. So we will take a look at those uh, once I get those in hand. And then just another product image here. Uh, we got designed by Greg Capullo, sculpted by Jonathan Matthews. So these are about 7.6 uh, inches in height. And we'll, we'll do just some quick uh, size comparisons on this guy too to kind of give you guys a better feel for uh, how big they are. But, uh, but seven inches, you know, is, is about where, where they stand. So let's go ahead and get him out of his box and see what we got. 
All right, guys, so here we got the Batman Who Laughs out of his packaging and uh, looking real nice. Um, we can take a look here. He has his chain, uh, which you can see there, uh, which is uh, would typically be connected to one of his rabid robins. Um, and if you look kind of down below him there, you'll see uh, kind of like a cape maybe that has fallen off of one of the rabid robins down here. So uh, that chain is just kind of a soft plastic um, that you can just kind of move around and place how you want it. I, I just kind of threw it around the front of his leg here. Um, everything else is your poly resin uh, sculpt. So pretty cool. I, I think this is a great looking statue. These are, to me, being in that black and white uh, style, they definitely have kind of a classy look to them. Um, that, uh, you know, I, I really respect this as far as, you know, something on the shelf, shelf presence, that type of thing. This is the second edition. So, so one difference uh, that you'll see in these second editions are the base on them um, are white instead of black. So... Um, that's, that's really the only, the only difference. This, this area around the base here would be black on a first edition and for a white, they'll switch it around to, uh, to white. So other than that, there might be some minor, minor, uh, details as far as the whites and the blacks, uh, and the grays in, in the statues between first and second edition. But the sculpt and everything would just remain the same. We'll just take another minute, let this guy spin around one more time. Um, this is this would be a high recommend for me um, if you're a Batman fan. I, I'm pleasantly surprised. Again, this is my first one that I've looked at and reviewed. Um, so very excited to uh, get a few more of these in hand and, and do some reviews on them as well. Let's get this guy off the turntable and uh, take just a quick look at a size comparison with some other figures kind of in that six, seven inch uh, scale and wrap up our video. All right, guys. So just from a size comparison standpoint, um, here's our Batman who last figure next to uh, this is a Kota Bukia one six scale uh, Wolverine, which is one of the coolest statues that has ever been made. Uh, just to go ahead and throw that out there. Then we've got the Kota Bukia Artifacts Plus statue, Cyclops, and a Lightning Collection White Ranger. So just to kind of give you a feel, you know, this is one six scale. So he is running about in that seven, seven and a half inch range as far as his height on his base. Um, so just to kind of help you see, you know, where he would be. Uh, don't take up a lot of room. You'll be able to get a lot of these guys on a shelf or on a D top shelf. Um, so pretty cool. I'm very happy with this purchase. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click like and subscribe. Until next time.